Now that we have got the predictions for 2013 out of the way, let's move on to the gadgets that we anxiously wait for in 2013. Now Samsung had a huge hit on their hand with the Galaxy S3, the successor to the widely acclaimed Galaxy S2. In 2013, Samsung looks to continue the trend with the Samsung Galaxy S4. According to the rumors, the display would be up to a resolution of 1080p, which will also be one of the trends most likely to be followed in 2013 in smartphones, especially when a lot of smartphones like BB10 and Lumia will be available across the globe by then. Going by the uber successful S3, we would like to think so. No one thought the original Note was going to be successful. It was more of an experiment by Samsung to figure out how people would respond to a bigger screen. In surprise, it was a breakout success. Samsung had a category all to themselves to benefit from and they did with the Galaxy Note 2, which brought even more advancements to the table. Now the question is where will they go with the Galaxy Note 3? Do they go bigger than the 5.5 inch display on the Note 2 or do they instead concentrate on giving users new features? Either way, it will be interesting to find out once it's unveiled. Now Project Glass by Google finally hit the public in 2012, albeit in a small amount and with a high asking price. But the most interesting thing about Project Glass is the fact that Google still hasn't figured out what exactly to do with it. Like most innovative ideas, it's interesting, a sort of offshoot to the Sixth Sense demo at TED, but lighter to wear and giving you more options. Would we finally see this hitting the streets in mass? We will have to find out. The Mini finally happened in 2012, as it marked the first time we saw Apple caving to market demands and producing a 7.9 inch mini version of its popular iPad lineage. And for most people it got a lot right the first time, but there were still people who were scoffed at the outdated specs and the absence of a retina display. So our guess would be Apple would finally go retina display for the Mini 2, but we still have to wait and see if this happens. Now once again, Apple continued to reign supreme in a category which it invented and deservedly so. The iPhone 5 was brilliant, great widescreen display and a fast PD performance with great battery life. It sold like hotcakes too. But for many, this also meant that Apple shipped the product without a single standout feature that it could call its own. iOS 6 was just a lot of catching up to things that other smartphones already provided. And the lightning connector was a response to Apple's reluctance to adapt the mini USB standard. Oh, and don't even get us started on the new maps. Now as 2013 rolls along, people are already looking to Apple for its next iPhone. Whether it's iPhone 6 or a 5S is what we'll have to wait to find out.